That is insane. Okay. We, we have a shiny Xerneas. We got a shiny Rayquaza in his party. <laughs> All right, so what is going on guys? It is Noah here and I'm back bringing you guys another new video and for today's video We're actually doing another Pokemon old save file video If you guys didn't see it about a month ago now We did one of these videos on a Japanese pearl save file and a English diamond save file We actually found like a bunch of really cool stuff on those So I was super happy with how that video did and it actually did really well So I'm glad you guys enjoyed it So I figured for today we could be back but actually checking out 3ds Pokemon games today And in our first save file video we actually only took a look at two different games But for today I have like a bunch of 3ds Pokemon games for us to look through today so so a while back, I would even say close to a year ago on some of these games I bought. I actually didn't have a 3DS capture card at the time. So like you guys are seeing on the screen, I wasn't able to do this before. So when I bought all of these 3DS Pokemon games, I didn't have a way to record them or stream them yet. So I just never took a look at them. And I've seriously never even put these in my console. I'll try to show this on the webcam so you guys can see what games we're going to look through today. So we have a Pokemon Y here. We have a Pokemon Moon. We have a Pokemon Ultra Moon. We have a Pokemon Ultra Sun. We have a Pokemon Omega Ruby, and then we have a Pokemon Omega Sapphire that we're going to look through today. Hopefully we can find some interesting stuff on these. Like I said, I've never even put these in my console yet, so I have no idea what's on these save files. There could be absolutely nothing on some of these, and hopefully there are some cool stuff on some of them. And here we go, you guys. I guess we're just going to jump into our first save file here. All right, very cool. It's also really cool to use my 3DS capture card finally for the first time. This is actually the first piece of content I'm making on the 3DS capture card. All right, so let's see if there's a save file on here. And we have Mario 718 in his Pokedex with three badges and about seven hours played, it looks like. Okay, so we're at that tower. I think this is where you do like the Lucario battle and stuff, right? I'm not super, super familiar with Gen 6 games. So if I miss something here, you guys will have to tell me in the comments. Um, but taking a look at his party, he has a Lucario, a Charizard, a Venusaur, a Greninja, and then this fossil Pokemon and Helioptile. Got Charizard with the Mario OT. We also have something with a Master Ball in here. I just saw the Master Ball. Is that the Helioptile in a Master Ball? And yeah, it is the Helioptile in the Master Ball for some reason with the OT of Mario. I don't know if this could be real. Like I said, I don't know too much about Gen 6. So you guys will have to let me know if this seems legit in the Master Ball. Fateful Encounter led it to come across both space and time in order to reach the Kalos region. From Unova. So this might actually be a Venusaur brought from Gen 5. We could also take a look at his ID card here. Okay. <laughs> and almost a hundred million, a hundred million Poke Miles, a uh, hundred million dollars as well. Seven hours played. Yeah, so obviously there has been some foolery going on here. Possibly, I don't actually don't know how action replays and stuff work on 3DSs. You guys will have to let me know. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I think he did catch the Healy Up tile in a Master Ball. <laughs> <laughs> because he's missing one Master Ball from 999. I'm going to go ahead and say he caught that Helioptile in the Master Ball for some odd reason. Okay. I'm um, taking a look at the bag that helped us out a lot here on what we were trying to figure out. So let's see if he has anything cool in the PC box. All right. So nothing in box three, which it just sent us here. Nothing in box one or nothing in box two. And then in box one, we have two random Bulbasaur's. We have a Bulbasaur at level 44 and then a Bulbasaur at level 10. So, okay. They're both from Unova as well. What is going on? Can somebody explain that to me in the comments? Because I have no idea. But I think that's going to wrap it up for us on Mario's save file. Very funny that the first one we put in the DS is actually a hacked save file. Surprised to see a hacked save file with no uh, no shiny Pokemon or anything like that. Just some very weird Master Ball. <laughs> Master Ball Pokemon, Pokemon from Unova. So no idea what happened with those ones. But I guess we're going to go ahead and hop into our next game here, which is going to be Pokemon Moon for us. So we're getting Pokemon Moon loaded up here. Believe it or not, Gen 7. Some of my favorite Pokemon games ever. I can't wait to actually start streaming them and doing some shiny hunts on them but we will see what is on this moon save file for us if it wants to start up here and we do have a save file here 25 hours played it seems like 41 in the pokedex i'm going to totally pronounce this name wrong if you guys have ever been by the twitch live streams you guys know i have a horrible time pronouncing names but i think it's aldorin there's probably some sort of way i'm pronouncing that incorrectly but we're going to check out this save file i forget what island we're spawning in on here but let's check out his party oh and his party is getting beat up here we have some fainted pokemon so a uh, a lowland golem pretty cool level 32 and it is fainted unfortunately ot is sill though okay one of my least favorite pokemon ever <laughs> one of my least favorite pokemon ever we have incineroar here this is his original starter i'm assuming we do have a leafeon which is his ot as well sumo the hariyama here from him as well we have a sand dial named crook so nothing looks too out of place here it looks pretty legit to me if i'm being honest it is cool that he probably got this from wonder trade or maybe a friend or something like that we'll go take a look in his pc boxes and see if there's anything cool God, I love these Gen 7 games. The fact that I actually commit content on 3DS games now, you guys, is so freaking cool to me. If you guys want to see me do any shiny hunts or anything like that on any 3DS games, I literally have pretty much every 3DS Pokemon game. So if you guys want to see anything specific, let me know in the comments. But let's check out what Aldoran has in his PC. 
Um, we do have a couple of things here. We got a Mankey and a Heal Ball. I like how all of his Pokemon have nicknames as well. <laughs> that is so funny. We have Brawl. We have Cub. We have Rocky and a Heal Ball. Slowpoke here. We have like everything nicknamed. That is insane. Okay. We, we have a Shiny Xerneas with somebody's... Okay, I'm assuming this is hacked because the OT is somebody's Discord name. I'm probably going to blur that out in the video. Um... <laughs> A random freaking Xerneas. Oh my god, that is so funny. Kind of insane to find a shiny Xerneas on here, even though it probably is hacked from Wonder Trade or something like that, I'm assuming. But we did indeed find a shiny here, so let's see what else he has in the box. We got a Phantom. It is crazy how all of these guys' Pokemon are nicknamed. I'm actually very impressed. I don't know about you guys, but I have a hard time thinking of Pokemon nicknames like right off the spot. Um, so I'm very impressed that this guy has all of his Pokemon nicknamed. That is, I think we're just going to go ahead and move this Xerneas to the party and we'll have to check out the shiny Xerneas. I mean, we found one here on this save file. When we do this battle encounter right now, I'll actually turn the sound on too so we can hear the shiny sparkles. And let's check out the hacked, I'm assuming, shiny Xerneas here. Got a little Alolan Sandshrew there, love that design. And our shiny Xerneas, oh my goodness. Very cool, very cool, even though it's a little hacked one from Wonder Trade, but it is all good. We're just having fun here anyways. But I think that's gonna do it for us on Aldoran's Pokemon Moon save file, you guys. So we did find some pretty cool stuff, obviously. Shout out to Aldoran for being able to nickname all of his Pokemon. But I think we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next game here. And the next game we're gonna be taking a look at here is Ultra Moon. So jumping from Moon to Ultra Moon, we'll see if there's anything on this save file coming up here. And it doesn't look to be the case. It seems like the save file is completely empty because it's wanting me to start the game here, obviously. Um, and that is tough. I don't remember where I got all of these different 3DS Pokemon games from. They could be a mix of OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, and Mercari. Those are usually the ones I shop on personally. Um, but like I said, I've had these sitting for a while now, you guys. So <laughs> I have no idea where I got these from. Clearly seems to be a brand new save file. So it looks like we're jumping into Ultra Sun next. Hopefully I didn't get these Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon from the same place. I have no idea what games I bought in bundles and what games I bought separately. So hopefully I didn't buy them from the same place because if I did, they're probably both empty. But we'll see what this Ultra Sun has for us. All right, and Aldoran. Okay, I guess I bought... Was that Moon that we were playing? I guess I bought Moon and Ultra Sun, both from Aldoran. So shout out to Aldoran. Doesn't have as much time on this one. He only has 18 hours on this one compared to the 25 on the other game. That is so funny. I'm like, what the hell? I Like I said, you guys, I don't remember what bundles or whatever I bought these games in. So um, let's see what Al Doran has in his party this time. And are they all nicknamed? Of course they are. <laughs> of course they are. Al Doran cannot go without nicknaming his Pokemon, you guys. Got an Inke, a Dartrix. I'm assuming this is probably his starter. Yeah, everything seems just about right here. Also another tw 2021 save. Nothing really seems out of order. If I am missing something, you guys feel free to let me know in the comments. It looks like we're just going to go over to his uh, PC box. Maybe he has something different in this PC box as well. So Aldoran's Ultra Sun PC box. And he has a couple of Pokemon here. <laughs> so he has a, he has a heard of your name, Carnitas. That's pretty funny. Um, We got Rogue the Noibat. I like that. I'm going to have to jack some of these nicknames. You guys are pretty good. Yeah, nothing looks really out of order here, you guys. Seems like Aldoran is a legit Pokemon player himself. But other than that, looks relatively normal here, you guys. So it looks like our next game we're jumping into is Omega Ruby. All right, we'll see what this Omega Ruby save file has for us. Hopefully a save file at all would be nice. And it looks to be the case we have Mario again. Mario was from Pokemon Y, right? Yeah, it was because he has the Pokedex completed on this game too. <laughs> Oh my god, so we have Mario with the completed Pokedex and only five badges. Not sure how he pulled that one off. And 11 hours played, it looks like. So Mario, what do you have for us on this one, my guy? I think he just had like the really weird Master Ball Pokemon and stuff. So nothing uh, super weird on that Y file outside of just the funny things we saw. So let's see what he has in this party. Okay, we have a Latios, a Lugia, a Rayquaza, an Exploud, a Hoopa, and a Blaziken. Okay, I wonder where these... These three legendaries right here came from. So. so just a Latios from Southern Islands in 2011. Okay. We have his Blaziken. I'm assuming this is the starter, right? Yeah, met at level five. The Lugia. Met from the daycare helpers at a faithful encounter. Okay. Also, we have something in a Cheris Ball here. Is that a shiny? That is a shiny Hoopa. A shiny Hoopa in a Cheris Ball, you guys. Okay, OT is AR. Is this actually an event or is it not? I'm not too familiar on Gen 6, you guys. So is AR an event or maybe we can look at the thing here. I'm gonna have to look this one up. Let me take a look really quick. So I'm actually looking at all the Hoopa events. 
And I don't think any of them are shiny, you guys. <laughs> I don't think any of them are shiny. And then what else do we have in his party? Okay. We got a shiny Rayquaza in his party. <laughs> Yo, Mario, you are insane, my guy. Shiny Rayquaza met at level 10 from the daycare helpers. Okay. Uh, so I guess we're going to check out these the shiny Hoopa and the shiny Rayquaza in battle because why not? That is so funny. And we're gonna have to check these out in battle again. I'll turn on the sound for us as well so we can hear the shiny sparkles. Actually, jump it into a double battle here. Perfect, because we have both of our shinies up front. All right, Mario, let's check out your shinies, dude. We got Beauty Fly and Dust Talks. And our shiny Rayquaza and shiny Hoopa. Bam, with those shiny sparkles. <laughs> Very cool there to find. Obviously, probably not legit if we had to take a wild guess, right, you guys? But hey, still something cool to find. When we get out of this battle, too, we'll go ahead and take a look in his PC box. Maybe there's something cool in there. Checking out Mario's PC here on Omega Ruby. Uh, is that a shiny whisper? <laughs> is that the first Pokemon in the box is a shiny whisper? I think it is, you guys. I'm assuming, like, unfortunately, Mario, because of your save file, I want to say this shiny is fake. I mean, who knows? It could be real. Okay. Never mind. He has all shinies. He has a shiny special Pikachu here. That's actually a cool one. I'm assuming all of these are hacked, obviously. We got the shiny Ninkata. Maybe he's just an insane shiny hunter, you guys, and I'm being too harsh. I don't know. We got the shiny Shroomish. Um, we got a Bulbasaur here. We got the shiny Fossil Pokemon. We also didn't take a look at his bag on this save file, so we'll check out his bag. Max money, of course, here. And then also, yeah, it looks like he has every single item at 9... 900 of every single item it looks to see or it looks to be here. So yeah, seems like he played this game on this save file pretty similar to how he did on the Y. A little more shinies though on this one. Let's see if we can get this special shiny Pikachu in a battle. All right, you guys, we hopped into a battle here with the fisherman and he has a tentacle. While we have this cool freaking shiny Pikachu, you guys. Very cool. Shout out to Mario for this save file, you guys. And it looks to seem like our last game we're going to be checking out here is going to be Alpha Sapphire. So we're going to say goodbye to this Mario save file. And then we're going to jump into this Alpha Sapphire game for our last one of this video. And we'll see what's on here, you guys. And will there be a save file on it? There will be. We have Miles. Only five hours played. He has 62 in the Pokedex and three badges. We'll see what Miles has for us, you guys. It's going to be hard to top what we've already seen in this video. And oh my god, he's getting beat up. So we have a Sceptile. Yeah, seems to be a normal Sceptile, I'm assuming he started the game with. A Fainted Golbat, and we have a Fainted Numel here, you guys, so... All Miles original OT. He may have some Pokemon in the PC that we can go check out, and we'll go take a look. Alright, so we're gonna check out Miles' PC here. We'll see if he has any Pokemon in the box. And he has a Shiny Poochiana! What? Bro, no way this is real! I mean, obviously the date is incorrect, but... Bro, there's no way that this could actually be <laughs> be a real shiny pooch. I feel like if this was a real shiny pooch, wouldn't he want this in his party? We got a level 15 at met at level 2. If this is actually legitimately encountered, because I mean, the rest of his save file looks legit to me, you guys. I'm just confused on why he wouldn't want this in his party. But that was literally the only thing in his box, you guys. We'll see. Maybe we could look at the bag and see if there's any anything that looks hacked in the bag. I mean, the items look normal. He has like no items. I mean, you guys, everything on this save file looks legit except that shiny pooch. Maybe we could take a look at his Pokedex and then his trainer card. Yeah, I mean, you guys, he's only caught seven Pokemon. Everything on this save file looks legit. He doesn't have the Pokedex completed. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, you guys. But weirdly enough, this shiny Poochiana is looking legit to me. A normal amount of money, zero battle points. I mean, unfortunately, the, the date on his 3DS is, was incorrect when he started his save file. But, I mean, that looks like a real shiny pooch to me, you guys. <laughs> So why not put it in the front of the party and we'll go check it out. All right, so let's see our possible legit shiny pooch. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know in the comments what you guys think. But for our last Pokemon we're going to be checking out in this YouTube video, you guys. A very random shiny poochiana on Miles' save file, you guys. Let me know if you guys think this is legit, you guys. Like I said, I have no idea. But... That's going to do it for this video, you guys. So if you guys did enjoy this video, you could do me a huge favor by dropping a thumbs up on it. This was actually insane. The amount of hack Pokemon we saw, the shiny Pokemon we saw, the crazy different save files we saw today. 
They honestly couldn't have gone any better. And the fact that these games have literally just been sitting in a drawer while I've been waiting to get a 3DS capture card for you guys is insane. I've had these games for so long, you guys. I bought these so long ago. And they've just been sitting and I've never ever taken a look at them until now. And honestly, I had a ton of fun in this one. If you guys want to see me check out a Japanese Pearl save file from 2008 and an original Diamond save file, I will leave the first video we did of this in the description. If you guys want to see more Pokemon content like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I really try my best over here to make cool videos and stuff like that. And we also stream Pokemon content all the time over on our Twitch live streams. If you guys want to join us here, if you guys didn't see this message on the screen, all video. We actually are six followers away from a thousand on Twitch. If you guys want to help us reach that milestone, it would be insane you guys and other than that like i said i hope you guys did enjoy this video i will catch you guys in the next one peace out you guys